Uh, real quick question uh, of the night. If, if I can only imagine wins, mm. is it cool with you guys? What's up? Is it cool with you guys if I go up on stage with you? Come on. Yeah, because you were the movie. <laughs> Thank I mean, you. It was a little bit about Bart, mostly about Wally. Thank you. And we're just kind of trying to position to I Can Only Imagine 2 starring the radio DJ. I love it. I like where you're going with it, and I will be honored to walk up there with you. And I won't say anything. I'll just be standing there like one of those weird people. Don't do that, Wally. It ends the movie, so why shouldn't you... Say something. You guys go first. And then, and then you I'll go, end. I think Deal. so. I'll close uh, it honestly, you don't realize how many people have asked me, what about that Wally guy, the guy with the beard, what happens to him next? I don't, we don't know. I, I, <laughs> you know what? It's a cliffhanger. That's we're, hilarious. <laughs> That's really funny. We're going we're to see what happens, and I can only imagine, too, the electric boogaloo. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> You know, you're great friends with Bart as well, and Bart, as you know, is the real deal. Oh, and yeah. so to tell his story for us as filmmakers, we're kind of spoiled yeah. to be able to do that. So uh, it was a real treat. Well, best of luck tonight, and I'll see you on the stage, I hope, because I'm, I'm making a run for it. I'm holding you to it. If you don't, I'm going to be mad. All right, then I will be up there. Oh! Boom, that's great. I'll probably get tackled on the way, but I'm going for it. I was about to say, I think he means it. Like, you got to go. Were you uh, uh, nominated for anything already that you've already won? Actually, on the way here, I got a text message. Uh, don't text and drive, but right. I got a text message that I won an award. Nice. So like, so I could just go back home right now. But I wanted to come and talk to what you. What was guys. it? Uh, it was like something like greatest human being award. I or I I, I nominated you for that. <laughs> no, it was <laughs> it was a songwriter award for uh, songwriter artist of the year. Nice. So many thanks to folks like you who play my music. Oh, we, well, we love playing your music. And I also won prettiest wife. You definitely won prettiest wife. Thank She's you. Here with me. Yeah. Now I've gotten in trouble in the past because I would get rushed into a red carpet and forget to take her with me. Right. And so this time I made I have sure. have an eyeshadow. I was about to say your eyeshadow is <laughs> popping. We went like. and took all pictures just before coming to talk to you, and they just told me to get out of the way because they just no, wanted they to take her. They, they thought she was to. the one. They thought she was the artist. So. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see it yeah. too. <laughs> Sir, you look gorgeous. we need to have the ugly move left. No, 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 no. no. That's exactly right. <laughs> Ooh. Look at you guys with the yes. matching sparkles. It's Tori I Kelly. Wow. Hi, how are you? Good. My this name's is Wally. Wally. Hi, Wally. I'm not as fancy as you guys, and well. uh, you look fabulous. Fabulous. Obviously. And this is Becca. Yeah. I promised Becca that I would do this for her because you, she is a huge fan, already has tickets to your show at the Ryman, and, uh, and I said, I'm going to step out of the way, and I'm going to let Becca interview you, okay? Here we go. So, there you yes. go. Get in there, Becca. This is a big deal, because he, he is actually the boss, so I'm glad that he's going over the reins to me for a minute. Awesome. So, it's so good to see you. You look gorgeous, of course. Um, now, you've done a lot of these shows. You've done the Grammys. You've been on American Idol. Does tonight feel different than any of those events? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I grew up watching the dubs. Like, I remember, like, Crystal Lewis being on here. Like, I just, I grew up listening to gospel music and, and Christian music, so it's just always been a part of me. And my mom literally texted me today. She was like, I, she was like, before you were born, I just had a feeling that, like, someone would, in our family would be on this show. Like, so it's just been in our family. And so to be here now, having put out, like, my first gospel project yeah. and then getting to be at the dubs for the first time, it's, it definitely feels different. It's a big deal, yeah. How was it recording your first gospel album? Like, I mean, well, it was with Kirk yeah, Franklin, yeah. first of all. So, I mean, it, that's pretty up there. Yes. For me, it's just, I mean, he's like a legend. He like is. Legend. He so, is. To be able to say, oh, I want to do a gospel album, and then it's with Kirk. It's just... It's a dream come true, and he's uh, he's here tonight as well. We get to perform yeah. Never Alone, which was the first song that we wrote together. And then I found out the first song that he's ever written, co like co-written. Yes. Anybody. I mean, it's huge. Like, what do you mean, Kirk? Like, you've been in this game for so long. And he's like, yeah, I just do everything myself. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> it's true. Do the yeah. whole song by No. All the pop stuff you put out, putting out this gospel album, did you have like an extra added level of like nervousness or like that nausea that hits right before it comes out and you announce it to the world? Uh, I went kind of back and forth. Like I think my, I mean I've only had one album before this, so that first album was really like I was so nervous because it was the, you know, it was the unknown. I didn't know what was going on with this. It was, it was. I felt at peace about it because I came to a point, and Kirk and I talked about this all the time. But I got to a point where it was like, okay, I'm doing this 
this kind of, to some people it might be, you know, a little bit of a different direction. To me, it feels like I'm no. still going the same direction. Um, and it just, it feels like gospel music has always been a part of my sound, but I get it. If other, you know, if other people might think it's a departure, but I got to a place where I felt like even if nobody got it, I still was so in love with it that it almost didn't matter. I was like, I'm just going to put it out and then we'll, we'll see what happens. Like, it really got to that place for me where um, I just fell in love with the songs and I felt like they, it just needed to come out, even if it wasn't successful or what, you know, when you yeah. start getting into the numbers and all that, I was like, I don't even, I don't even care about all that. Yeah, and if it means something to you and it touches lives, which I mean, I've been jamming out to Never Alone, you're performing it yes. tonight, like yes. you mentioned. Yes. Soul's Anthem, also absolutely amazing. Yeah. Like, a remix with It Is Well, which yeah. is just beautiful with the choir comes in at the end as well. So. Yeah. Hey, Becca, look this way. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd do that for you so you could uh, always remember that's this. That's so you sweet, let me wow. girl for a second. I'm oh, that's yeah. so sweet. I'm, I just want to say something personal really quickly, if you're okay with that. Um, my husband got really sick, and your song, Something Beautiful, was the only thing I listened to for like a month straight. So even before you did anything like officially labeled Christian, like that was speaking to people. So I appreciate you. So. Oh, that's so sweet. So. Oh, well, that's Becca. really cool. Yeah. Dad it. I'm oh, has sparkles no. on the outside. Don't bro. make her cry. Your sparkles off. Oh wow. my gosh. <laughs> well, thank you for you not embarrassing us. You nailed yes. that. I didn't do anything weird. Yeah, yeah she didn't... told Tia from uh, uh, this? Uh, Hillsong that she smelled good. So that but was I, weird. What I said is that girls do that. that yeah. yeah. not weird. Girls do, I tell people they smell good all the time. Yeah, See? girls do that. It's... Kindred spirit. It's oh. weird guy to guy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Compare thank notes. Thank you very much. We appreciate you your time. Good to see you, thank girl. It's nice to meet you. So, hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. How are you doing? <laughs> hi, friend. Yeah, Algernon made this. And I Algernon wear it. made this. Did he really? Yes. Wow. I couldn't wear it before because it was too tight, but now I can wear it. So. You look you. great. And I'm loving this. Yeah. You know? I'm loving that. Oh, thank you. I'm loving that. Fun fact, I uh, bought a new shirt for this. Uh, I did, uh, off the rack. You're so and silly. There was Men have it so much easier. Like, it just yeah. ain't right what we go through and what y'all can just throw something on from your closet. Sure, like, I literally, and the shirt was too tight, and then I realized <laughs> I could lose weight or buy a bigger shirt. I went bigger shirt. You're the actual worst, Wally. Yeah, the am, actual worst. But you went the other way. And look at you. You look fantastic. You look gorgeous. You, Thank you. Up for song how of the is, year? Yes. And how is tour? You're on tour? Yeah. Like... It's amazing. Yeah, Girls Night Live, it ends actually this week. And yeah. then I'm hoping to do it again next year. It's with Blanca and Jasmine yeah. Marie and Candace. It's amazing. Chewbacca mom. She came to our um, run yeah. through that we yeah. did. So, yeah, it's been the time of my life. Yeah. You, it looks like it. It's a brand new. I don't know if you guys have been to a Disa concert. Me and my husband. It, well, because I should sing yeah. for you, it's my favorite. Uh, but it's EJ's you favorite, sing too. with her? Yes, I used to sing back. My background scene. Yes. I, Wally, that's how I got my start. <laughs> Fantastic. No, seriously. No, and so Adisa show is popping. But this one is even more special because we can see your heart in it like never before. Thank you. Yes. Well, Janice, that means a lot to yeah. me. We went, a, we went to a lot of prayer in yeah. order to bathe this thing with what God wanted us to do. So yeah. it's been an incredible first run through and I'm hoping to bring it hopefully out west and maybe yeah. New England in 2019. Ooh, nice. I realize we all share something in common. We've all performed with Disa. Ooh, ooh. Top of the morning to you, Disa. <laughs> You smoothing me, me. ice cold pizza. pizza. Oh. Okay, la de oh, la da. La de da. He did it with me on the stage. I would have had it. I would have had it. Chris, get over here. He is up for one award. He's up for worship card at Song Hello. Award. And he is presenting the song. Hi, how are you doing? Nice. What's how are you, brother? There? You are on the official live stream for the uh, Doves right now. Come on. I love it. I love it. <laughs> up, <laughs> up for an award tonight. Which one? Uh, Resurrection Power for Worship Song. Yeah, just that the little thing. Just a little oh. something. And after a little something I did, you know. <laughs> if you were to win this, how many doves would that make for you, do you think? Ballpark it. He doesn't want to say it. He's it's got a bunch. It's all right. I think it's uh, 24 or 25, something like that. How great is that? That's cool. Yeah, yeah, amazing. That's awesome. Really those will look really good next to your crowns in heaven. <laughs> no, that's nice. I don't, yeah, I don't think that those might burn up. I'm done. Oh, really? You don't get to take I, I thought you get to take You know what I love, though, is the billion streams. Yes. Because that means people are listening, and they're listening to the word of God. And yeah. so you can kind of equate those. Those 24 mean yeah. that God is giving you place for those billion streams. And it's okay. It's a good thing. It also means I've been around a long time, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you're looking good. <laughs>
<laughs> That's awesome. Who, who are you presenting? What award are you presenting? I'm presenting the first award. For, uh, we're, we're kicking it off, man, tonight. Uh, song of the Year. Awesome. That's a big, that's a big that's award. That's a big one. That's about as good as it gets for me to yeah. present. That's what I love. Yeah. Song, so. They haven't told you who it is? I have no idea. Okay, that's probably good because you'd probably let that out, right? Right now. <laughs> by accident. Me and you, man. We could just go. Hey, we just tell them. Exactly. We're just talking. Just yeah, two bros talking. Go to dinner. Here's who won. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, well, that's good. Well, uh, are there any, uh, have you seen the rundown of the performances? Like, Because, I mean, you're an artist, and so you do this every day, you do it well, but is there somebody that you're like, man, that's somebody I want to see, too. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, I always think, I think it's interesting, uh, Tori Kelly. Yes. She's a delight, by the way. She's, She's amazing, a delight. Right? Amazing, just amazing artist. And yes. so I saw it's her and Kirk Franklin. Yes. yes. So that's interesting to me. Yeah. I like see, and I like seeing her, too, and it, it, she walks in the pop world, obviously, yeah. and in this world and does it with such grace and godliness which is really rare yes and another thing is cool um rascal flats is singing tonight i believe Ooh, with yes. jason crap and so they were with me at good friday nashville as a surprise oh, yeah. and, and we had uh, rascal flats out and uh awesome. they're just amazing brothers and i so it's, it'll be good to connect with them again no, that's really that's cool awesome. yeah little known fact about rascal flats oh, no it's not about to be not true they're, no they're actually named after uh the uh, the uh, basis uh, dog uh, really? Fact, yeah. Re really? Rascal, yeah. How do I and know? By a trailer, and he was flat, <laughs> and that's where they came up with it. Wow, Rascal, that's where he got it. Yeah, that's where they got it. I yeah. don't believe this. We're learning a lot on the Dove's Red Carpet tonight. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. Thank you, Walt. Don't you take, don't tell anybody else, okay? Yeah, I won't. Be careful. I won't, I won't. This is sharp, right? But oh, well, thank you. I went bow tie. I, I like went bow tie. It. I can't pull that off. Yes, you can. No, yes, you can. no I've, got, I've got like a little, like, a, there's too much down here, no, and not no. enough up here. No. I love it. I love it. You so can good. do it. You can totally do it. So basically, everything people are singing in Black Church, Wally. Right. Right here. Really? <laughs> well, that's fantastic. I need to go to more Black Church. You do. I don't go to one, so you can't come with me. But I go to church in Leapers Fort. I could go with him. Oh, yeah, you can. Anytime. Anytime you want to come. You know what? Next time I want to pencil out about six hours on a Sunday, I'll go. That's right. Oh, Wally you know, got Joe. You know, Wait, you know, Wally. You know, Wally, my, hold you it. Wouldn't, you wouldn't do that at my church because we got six services on the weekend. Yeah. So you in an hour in. 10 minutes. Wow, you're doing that like White Church. Nicely it's done. It's 2018, <laughs> Wally. It's 2018. I'm going to all day long. You're done by one. What a poet. What is going on now? Right, right, right. But I'm honored to be a part of gospel music in this last um, 10 years. My songs are being sung all over the world, and, um, and I'm just glad to be uh, able to break barriers and bring uh, people together to show people what the kingdom looks like. You know, it's it's you know, we, our churches, like you just said, we're divided still a little bit, yeah. and you know, I Not think, no, yeah, but I, but I think it's I think through music is how we're going to bring and show people what the kingdom yeah. looks like. Yeah. If anything can do it, that's a big, big motivator and a big unifier for yeah. sure. Always yeah. has been, honestly. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I think it's going to well. get even better and better when you see the writers of the music transcend. You know, from us, you know, in our black community and in the white community and in the uh, Hispanic community when we all come together and write songs for the church all together. Yeah. Where it's going to be one universe. It's going to be what, like what heaven is. Yeah. Although we're going to jack it all up because we'll be clapping off beat uh, and no, like no. mess you guys no, up. No, okay. no, no. <laughs> I've been to some black churches where they clap off beat. So. It's okay. We'll just have a clap on every beat. Yeah, yeah. Just one beat. <laughs> yeah, the one the on three. the one, three. One in the three. Yeah, the and the three. two and the four. Right. <laughs> right. So just, uh, I'm excited to be a part of music and, and where God is taking music, and I'm looking forward to whatever He's going to do next. Well, it's awesome to talk to you, man. Thank you so awesome, much. Awesome, to talk to you. I like your glasses. Thank you. I yeah. Try to look, add a little flair. Oh wait, wait, wait! Because I just saw the tiny Gucci in the corner. That's why I like them. Oh, oh, that's why you do like them. Because I literally. Hey. I'm glad I realized that was a gold bug because I was about to smack you I in the head. Somebody else earlier said they were, was about to come up to yeah. me and smack me, like, and I said, Kaga! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Jasmine Murray, oh my gosh, you are radiant. Hello. Yes, Hello. you are. You? Hi. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Do you guys know each other? We actually don't, but I came to the run through on Disa's tour, and you were amazing, sis. I loved it. Yes. So. I heard it was great. I heard it was great. 
been amazing and yeah. so awesome. I mean, I went on tour with uh, Mandisa last year, yeah. um, but this year I'm getting a tour with Blanca and Candice yeah. Payne and just, I mean, it's really, really fun to have an all-girl crew and just to get a chance to worship together and do our little girl chat at the end. Like, it's so different, but yeah. really awesome. Okay, so now, what happens at the girl chat? Because it's a girl's night out, and so I'm not allowed there. I tried. So what does the girl chat at the end consist of? So basically, we allow all of the audience members to submit their own questions. They can do it via text message, or they can submit it into a little box. And basically, Candace every night, hosts it, and yeah. we'll pick a theme for the night, and we'll kind of talk about those themes, or she'll ask a direct question. And it's really just a chance for us to, I mean, be real, and for them to just get to know us, and for us to just have a conversation about different topics. So That would be fantastic yeah. to see that at a guy's event. Yeah. Like, it just wouldn't happen. You wouldn't get any text messages. <laughs> You'd be like, you want to talk? <laughs> How do you feel? I'm fine. We're good here, right? And we're out. That's, That's it, hilarious. yeah. That's so did you host the uh, pre-show uh, today? I did. I awesome. Did. Barrett, and he is hilarious. He's great, isn't he? Oh, my gosh. He was so funny. He, so I'm single. So he's like, are there any single guys in the audience? And I'm like, Pat, no. But it was so funny. Well, you're on the Dove's official live stream, and you are single. Yes. So if you want to give out your stuff. <laughs> Listen, she has no problem, I'm sure, getting attention. You look amazing, sis. And you're shining from the inside out. So I don't think she has a problem with that. Well, I don't think she has a problem. That's not what I was saying. But I think the problem would be too many uh, uh, and not being able to vet ah, them. And I can help ah. you with that. I'm oh. really good at this. No, I'm, no. Are you? Are I no. Really am. no. 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 Seriously. I don't believe it. Believe me. I do not believe it. I actually have a degree in matchmaking, little known fact, uh, from uh, Lipscomb University. And Yes. Oh uh, and so I teach a class rolling, and everything. Rolling off the tongue, Wally. The lies. They're rolling off the tongue. Get your help then. I, would, I can hook this up. That <laughs> that girl back there, I've tried to hook her up before too. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. That one is married because of me. Uh, oh, that's not true at all. <laughs> I met my, See? No, 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 no. See? I met my husband in fifth grade. Do not believe his lies. Exactly. That's so sweet. Exactly. There's nothing to do oh with him. If anything, he has ruined my life. <laughs> still together because of me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, Wally. Oh, wow. Awesome. Oh, so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you, girly. Thank you. Yes, God bless you. Have a By good night. By the way, night. we had some people on our stream say that you look like a Barbie, so I just wanted to pass. Ooh. Wow. Yes. That's wonderful. They said I looked like Fat Ken. They so, did yeah, I mean, I was mean, but. They didn't. They did not. <laughs> but Barbie's accurate. <laughs> How are things going? They look to be going so well. It's going great. It's a little rainy out here, but you know, we've got I got a new jacket on. We're about to watch some music. You got a new jacket. Wow. I, listen, it, music business is paying off. You know what? It's 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 time for it is the first jacket I've bought in about 10 years. So if you oh. need me, I'll be attending yacht clubs and galas. Nice. I'm just going to just invite myself to fancy places as me as <laughs> You just can. crashing weddings. I got to get the use out of this thing. 100%. You know? yeah. It was. Is it is it H and M? Did you buy off the rack? Because that's it's what I do. M and H. M and H. Nice. That's great. <laughs> Which might get some good use out of it because he's up for song of the year tonight. No, we're not. I am. That's I fantastic. I was just as surprised as you were. Oh, that's so. great. Did you, did you even bother to look to see who you were up against? Uh, okay, so when we found out, I was on vacation with my family. I slept in that morning. I woke up, and I had a text on there saying, hey, you're nominated for two things. I'm going, nominated for what? Like, I didn't even know. Yeah. So I looked. Luckily, everyone else is on my playlist already. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> this is just a, such a, it, honestly, I know it's a, as cliche as it can be, but it's an honor to be nominated. Like, I'm super cool. pumped to be here. That's good. But who knows, dude? You could take this thing, man. Hey, listen. If you got to give me a speech then if I'm going to do that because I have not prepared a single thing. Just put my name in there. Don't care. It'll work out fine. Okay. Okay. I'm thank ready. you, Lord. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Lord and Wally. Don't say thank you, Lord Wally. Thank you, Lord and Wally. Get I, the, you know, I, you got to put things in the proper order and the last will be first. So you, right. it's perfect. Oh my gosh. Uh, if you don't, I'm going to be upset now. Okay. Okay. Knowing you don't have a speech, if I'm not in there somewhere, I'm going to be a, a little Listen, upset. If I win, I promise. I'll bring bad. you up there. You're the best. Okay, we, we missed we, that one. Okay. That was, That's okay. That's that was okay. really bad. Bart Millard from Mercy Me oh approaching gosh, with the rest died. of the guys. Everybody. Hey guys. I saw you. Oh yeah, you? and then you kept going. Yeah, right? yeah. So we gotta do an interview. No, no, I, I stopped. I stopped when I saw you. Hey guys, come on in, come on in. Good to see you. Drake is like right behind you, right? Drake? I'm pretty sure that's Drake. Definitely not Drake. Okay. But a good choice. <laughs> Well, you guys, uh, uh, you know, I can only imagine up for an award, uh, which is huge. Yeah. That's a big night, and I do need to warn you, 
I, we talked to the Irwins already, and I told them, I said, if you guys win, I'm coming up there. I would. Uh, I'll give you 50 bucks if you'll come up there if they win. No, I'm not kidding. Say this. Please come up there. Because <laughs> they said that Andy goes, I'll be upset if you're not. Please come up there. Yeah, like, don't to. play. Come up. <laughs> walk straight up like you belong there. I'm not kidding. I will do that. Yeah. If you're not there, we're going to look for yeah, you. We'll call you up. Call you out. I will come up, and if you see me get tackled, at least no, say something. It's, it's, they don't, nobody's going to tackle you. You just look confident. That's you know where you, you are, get up, right? Yeah. You're going to be fine. Uh, hug, who, hug whoever you're next to, yeah, yeah. and then walk up. <laughs> That's perfect. Maybe, maybe hug Tomlin on the front row. I'm yeah. sure he'll be there. I'll high five yeah. a couple no, Toby, Toby's always Toby, And then go to the stage. <laughs> Kiss the ring. <laughs> oh, you've been there. Yeah. <laughs> We've all done that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's good to see you guys. This is nice, too. I like Thank that. You. Thank you. I think, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I, uh, all my jackets are on the bus, and so uh, this was in the closet. So. Best of luck tonight. I really uh, hope that uh, goes out. No, you're not performing tonight, are you? No, I'm presenting a... I'm doing like a lifetime thing for Amy Grant. Again, you're not supposed to say who I it's thought for. it was a secret, or but you lost. asked. Yes. No, no. I said for either Amy Grant or, or Bill Gaither or Pat Michael Boone, w. Smith. Or possibly Michael W. Smith. We don't know who's Or Chris the, Tomlin. Somebody. We don't know who's going to win. Yeah, Chris it's Smith. one of those. Or, yeah. Yeah. or, or one of the Newsboys lead singers. Yeah, yeah. Could or, be. Or, or, or Keith Green. It could be any of them. I think wow, Keith that's Green would be an amazing award. I, yeah. Well, he yeah, they've got a hologram. Yes, so it could be any of those. You didn't let me finish. Sorry, that, exactly. That's on me. Dude. That's my fault. Thank you. <laughs> well, guys, good luck. Thanks, hope to see. Hope, I hope to see you on the stage tonight. <laughs> Dude, it, oh please, please. Yeah. No, you should never encourage Wally when he's in this face. Dana would be sad just because of this conversation. <laughs> oh, I'm coming up. I'm, I'm running. That's a very mischievous look, smile. Why is he especially oh, upset? I, <laughs> Wally was coming. Yeah. Big kicking man. That's awesome. I'm going. I'm in. Okay. I, if I got the invite, I'm in. Okay. Right. Oh, my <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're shutting the carpet down, but we're going to sneak in the news. What is going on, Mr. Last... Tate? How are you, brother? Hey, how Mr. are you? Mr. Furler, how are you? Good to see you guys. Hi. This is really cool. The Newsboys. Yeah. Both incarnations of uh, lead singers <laughs> with us. That's great. Like, if something bad happened here tonight, the Newsboys would have to fold up. Because they got both guys. Like, if something bad fold happened up. to you, they call him. Yep. If something bad happens to him, you're there. Not true. We're both replacing. <laughs> no, really? I don't know yeah, about we'll that. You, Wally, you know? Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Nothing a razor can't fix, you know? Yeah, I could do that. I could eyeliner this thing and we'd be good to go. All day long. I miss you, man. How you doing? It's been a while since I've seen you. I know, man. Like, I'm good. Life good. is good. And, uh, you know, things are going well for you. The Newsboys United Tour. Dude, we just made a, we're making a record right now. It's almost done. So proud. Uh, painstaking hours, long, long studio nights, but you gotta get the goods. But the fact that our voices work together well, I was praying because I always said, I know I sound good with Toby and Kevin, right. but I've sang with Pete Furler before. And making this record, it could have been like, ah, oh, it's not gonna work. There's songs where it's just magical. I didn't know that's you guys were doing an album together. I knew yes. the tour was going on, yes. but wow, that's really, really yes. cool, man. And so now he likes it. How do you feel? I love it. Okay, just, yeah. I didn't know. Because yeah, no, it's, it's been good. Uh, well, like Mike said, we didn't know. Go we didn't know about even going into the tour. We didn't know if that was going to work, and it's been fantastic. And that's why we decided. Well, let's make a record together because it works together. And so, uh, yeah, it's been a blast. Yeah. Win a jam, and then this goes on. Yeah, that's really cool. You were actually my first interview in Christian Radio. I traveled on a bus out to Texas, yep. and we sat on a bus, and you were the first interview I ever did inside of this. I apologize, Wally. No, you were great. I was horrible. I asked you a bunch of weird questions. Oh, I like weird questions. <laughs> <laughs> And then you when, you, when you came in and you took over for him, I was like, man, this is not going to work. Toby says, Toby thought, Toby goes, I'm not sure, Tate. He goes, yeah. I know you're a good singer, Tate, but I'm not sure if he goes, Tate, you'll be fine. I, I, know. I knew it was going to work. And that's good. Yeah. And I'm so glad I was wrong. And you guys have done some great stuff. But now to see you guys doing this together, that's just really cool, man. For a music fan, that's a really cool well, thing for us. For us. DC Talk and Newsboys were frenemies back in the day. Right. You know, we... we, we, we Competitive. Yeah. yeah. But now it's like the DNA is now mixed. Yep. and uh, Now we're both grateful. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just happy to yeah. pay our mortgages. <laughs> That's right. Hey, right? Yeah, right. We have a, right. We have a new uh, perspective, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Are you still driving the bus? I heard you used to drive the bus after shows, Peter. I did. I did about 110,000 miles in 18 months, and I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. Well, I would always just, you know, I just, something about it I enjoyed, and, um, 
Yeah, while uh, Michael's in the back, like rock starring out, Peter's yeah. up in the front driving. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, the pulling over every 30 miles to give him a foot massage, yeah. that was pushing it. I get that. I get I, that. I said 45, that's it, Mike. But he's a star. What are you going to do? <laughs> you you got to treat him right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Better treat me right. <laughs> Very nice. Fellas, thank you so you guys much. Too. Thank you. Good to see you, Wally. Appreciate you. Thank you. See you. See you. Thank you.